Hey guys, this is Fred with Prime USA Scales, and today I'm excited because we're going to unbox the DigiWay DWP 440. I'm gonna set the scale up, I'm gonna show you how it works, and then I'm gonna go through a couple of the features and advantages with this scale. So let's set it up and see what you guys think. So here is your column where the indicator will mount on top. We have the separate box for the digital readout. And then here we have the 12 by 16 uh, stainless steel platter. And then it will also come with your column, directions for setup, and then just the other few pieces that you need for the setup. So this is everything included inside the box. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and start with the platform. This is gonna be the weighing mechanism of the scale, so we'll start here first for the setup. So we're gonna take the column here, and we're gonna feed it, this cable through the column. As I mentioned, this is where the digital readout will sit. And now you'll see I'll have this extra feed here of cable, so what I'm going to do is just pull some of the cable down to, and stuff it here inside the column. All right guys, so now that we have the column installed, we have the cable fed through the top, now we're going to secure this column in place with the included uh, screws. So we're just gonna take the screw, screw it into the back here of the column. And we'll do this for each one. There's three total. All right, so now we have it nice installed tight and we're good to go to the next step where we're gonna install the digital indicator. All right, so here we have the digital indicator. This is going to be the digital display. This is the box that it comes in and all the packaging. I just wanted to give you a close-up shot to show you what it looks like up close. All right, and then here you can see the back of the digital display. You have your interface cable, serial port, and RS-232, and this would be your power adapter that's included. All right, guys, so now that we have this column piece, You'll see that there's a small notch in here. If you come closer, let me show you, is that there's a notch here, and this is where the cable is going to lie as the bracket goes over the top. Now here you're going to see that the holes line up, and that's how you're gonna fixate this mounting bracket to the column where the indicator will sit. So we'll get this installed, and then we'll move on to the next step of turning it on and using it. All right. And then the other step that I did leave out before was that there was this long uh, screw here. And if you want to bring the camera in closer, I will show you uh, closer up to what I'm talking about. So we have this long screw here. And what we need to do is fix this into place. All right, guys. So the last part that we need to do is take this indicator, fix it to the bracket. And from there, we're going to be good to go. We'll work on the demonstration next. So all you do is you take this included screw, screw it in on the side so it's nice and tight, and you'll do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so we've got it firmly on here, and then now what we need to do is take our interface cable, and go ahead and shut at this angle. We're gonna go ahead and take that and plug it into the back of our display. Now you can see here, there's also some light lock nuts here to, to fasten this in even tighter if needed. But in this case, uh, we won't do that just for the demonstration, but in your warehouse space, I do recommend tightening this all the way down so that you have a perfect connection. All right, so we got everything installed. It's completely set up. And the one thing that you do wanna do is uh, make sure that you take off this uh, foam here and then this plastic cover, and then you have your stainless steel platter go over the top. Now, come over here and take a look at this. I wanna show one of the nice features about this scale is that leveling the scale is very important to get your most accurate weight. So if you come in here for a close-up shot, you'll see that there is a leveling bubble here. Now in this case, it's already perfectly leveled, but if it was off for any reason, you will see here that there is leveling feet underneath the scale to adjust if, you're, if you have an uneven surface in your warehouse or some other location, and this will help get your best accurate weight. So that's the setup process. Now, 
you feel like I've left anything out in this demonstration, there is instructions included, step-by-step -step process that goes into more detail. But this is just to give you a quick, easy rundown of what is to be expected when receiving the product and then how to set it up. All right, so I just want to talk about a couple features and advantages about the scale. So first off, this is a 304 graded stainless steel platform. It can be used for food applications, and this will help prevent rust and keep your pan looking nice and clean for many years to come. Now this scale, right here, if you want to come in for a close-up, it has a 12 inch width and then a 16 inch length. That would be the size of the platform. Now also to give you an idea of what the height is, from here, from the base, to the top of the display is about 10 inches, okay? Now to give you a size of the digital readout, about nine inches. So I mentioned the leveling bubble, I mentioned the four leveling feet, the stainless steel platter. Now here we have is the digital readout. So to turn it on, you're going to press this button and you'll hear it beep. Then the indicator is gonna go through a countdown phase. And once it's done through the countdown phase, it's gonna show zero. From there, you can use the scale and then you have all different types of functions as far as changing the unit between pounds and kilogram. There's a tear function and there's lots of other modes in the manual that go through the different options of what you can do with this scale. So for today's purpose, I have two 25 pound dumbbells that I'm going to use to demonstrate just the accuracy of the scale and how it works and how quickly it can read out the weight. So there's our first one at 25.50. I will do the demonstration again. Okay. And then one more time. Okay. Now, one other thing I did forget to mention is that we currently don't have this plug into power. It has a built-in rechargeable battery that will last up to 60 hours. So if you need to use this in a portable location or you plan to travel with this and you need something very lightweight, easy to move around, the whole unit probably weighs somewhere around about 10 pounds. So it's fairly light if you do need to move it, but having that rechargeable battery does make it just very easy to use in any location. So one last time, I'll show you the demonstration of the weight. You can even zero out the weight. One more time, and then I will show Abby one more 25 pound dumbbell. And there you go, folks. This is the DWP 440. If you would like more information about this product, I will link in the description below uh, pricing and then my contact info 800 917 7205. I'm happy to help you and answer any additional questions. Thank you for watching, guys.